Hey guys, Pro 1701 here, and today we are reviewing the classic Doctor Who story, The Claws of Axos. My Season 8 box set has come in recently, and I just got to watch The Claws of Axos for the first time, um, which is an episode, of course, I've been wanting to see. I love the John Pertwee era, so this is the Blu-ray version of it. Um, I find this story to be really disappointing. My least favorite of Season 8 so far, with the only one... I haven't seen being the Damons because I have seen Colony in Space before on it on DVD. Um, yeah, this one's just kind of uninteresting. It's, it's my least favorite of season eight. Um, I liked episode four, the final episode, because there's a lot going on in that. It does really keep moving at a really good clip. But the first three episodes, just, I don't know. I didn't find it interesting. Um, the actings are fine in it. Um, it's nice to see the master back. He's not quite as in control of the situation as he is in Terror of the Autons and the Mind of Evil. Because Roger Delgado's master is really good at being in control and being three steps ahead. Whereas this one, you see him kind of trying to catch up and get those steps ahead. He's really kind of having to improvise as he goes while still trying to make plans, which are just constantly having to change because of the events surrounding him. Um... But Roger's still great as him, of course. The the guest stars do a fine job here. I feel really bad for the actors playing the gold-faced Autons because those that, that headwear just looks like a pain to put on and take off. The gold makeup, the ping-pong balls for the eyes. The, that looks like such a pain to perform in. Uh, the other Axons, the kind of their true forms, the ones that look like the crinoids basically I do think they repurposed those outfits later to use as the crinoids in the Seeds of Doom uh, they look pretty neat except when they're walking as Katie Manning points out in the behind the sofas the when they walk they really do look like people just in costumes and I really wish they'd have a, a different walk much like she points out um, I just I don't know this one's just doesn't really grab me. I, I find it very just It's not bad. It's kind of in the not quite okay either. Episode 4 makes up for it a lot. I did enjoy episode 4. Uh, all the battle scenes going on. The Brigadier trying to hold out in that main reactor room. Um, the Not quite knowing what the Doctor's plan was but knowing he wasn't really going to betray Unit with him teaming up with the Master and having to try to work together. Did like the end result of him use, utilizing the whole time loop thing, um, <clears throat> but I really didn't. I really couldn't see where it was going and what he was up to. So it was a nice surprise. That that last episode really does move a pretty good clip, which keeps it entertaining and really does pull the story up to probably an okay level. I do like that last episode. It's just the the first three episodes just just cut, just kind of plod along for me. Uh, the restoration work looks really good of these four episodes. Two of them are the original Masters. Of the 25 episodes in the season, only three of them are the original Masters. And two of those are from this episode. From the story, I mean. Um, episodes 1 and 4 are the original Masters, so they look very fantastic. And episodes 2 and 3 look really good. They've done really good restoration for them. Uh, much better than what Terror of the Autons and uh, the Mind, especially The Mind of Evil look like. This one's much better. Um, episodes 2 and 3 have had a couple restoration works done on them. Uh, there's the 2005 one, which is included. They actually include in standard definition the 2005 restoration work where they were reverse standard converted back to the PLA format. Um, that was the 2005 original DVD release, but then they also released a special edition in 2000, 2012, which combined the reverse standards converted version with uh, the, the original black and white film print to, for an even higher quality image. And, of course, that one's presented in HD, so that's the main one to watch. It's nice that they have both of them on there, so you can you know, watch both of them and see the difference in the restoration efforts. Uh, but, yeah, I just ultimately, this one's just, eh. It's my least favorite of Season 8, I'll say that. So that is my thoughts on the Claws of Axos. What do you think of this story? Do you like it more than I do? Do you think it's about where I put it? Do you not like it at all? Comment down below. I always enjoy getting your thoughts on the matter and interacting with you guys other things to do click the like button uh click the bell for notifications click the subscribe button i've started a patreon channel if you would like to contribute to that there's a link to that down below most importantly though stay safe out there and thank you for watching